it's the very last part. Uh, it's like five highlighted down uh, policy implementation of policy decisions kind of. Oh, okay. I, I thought I was missing the correct one. Yeah. Um, advantage. Actually, first, like any operating trait, etc. Uh, no. Okay. Um, advantage one first. Uh, what's the internal between Kenyan decline and global user? Right. Uh, so specifically, the GN card tells you that like uh, Kenyan court legitimacy dispute, like how to check that. Like, yeah, I guess like Kenya would decline, but. How does that lead to global decline as far as user economy? Yeah, sure. So it's the question of a first the countries that are kind of like involved, like kind of this Kenyan economic business. And secondly, if there's enough of a conflict okay. that actually occurred in Kenya to like spill over to Where do you have like any evidence that says people were drawn? Right, sure. Uh, we said that the Tonneson 15 card specifically says that economic risk as a whole is like inherently bad. The very bottom of the card tells you that third country, party countries might engage, obliging Washington to intervene. We've seen this like how the time and time again when countries have gone through economic okay, climate. Has that gone I mean, like, Turkey, Syria, etc. No, we see that's not contextual like, in Kenya. Kenya specifically is important in this place. Why is Kenya important specifically? Right, uh, we see that uh, A, it's a question of the amount of corruption that's currently going on in Kenya. We see that countries do have like high investment in that. Secondly, it's a question of like how Kenya like, as a whole is operating as a Corruption evidence like, it says nothing about investment. Where are you getting all this? Right. Uh, the G GAN 20 card tells you about like three lines down. Uh, a weak judicial system leads to like increased business costs for foreign investors, etc. Uh, we would say that people are actively investing in the Kenya system. Kenya isn't like a lone island in like the world population. Like they obviously have interactions slash tethers to other countries throughout the world. Secondly, that's not the only link. We would say that it's still a question of like uh, how the Kenyan okay. economy inter interacts with like other people. I Kenya is like heavily invested in things like uh, mining, etc. We would say that like, plays like a big role in like the global economy. Okay, that's fine. Uh... The second advantage, uh, how big is the threat multiplier? What's the scenario? Right, uh, so I guess specifically for like the data card, we say like that's not like the only impact card, if that was like the question. Uh, the specific thing is it's a question of food insecurity, et cetera, because countries already have like increased tensions. We obviously saw this like throughout COVID, like countries weren't interacting as like well as they could have. Uh, we would say that that leads to things like uh, kind of wars over food, uh, as well as authoritarian backsliding. We saw there's like a decrease in democracy of like overall countries. Okay, yeah, why does that go nuclear? Right, uh, switch which one of those? Like, why would food insecurity cost go nuclear? Right, we say that it's a question that if we allow pro uh, COVID to like, continue to be prolonged, uh, these kind of tensions escalate. It's not like just food insecurity, we say that it kind of ties a link of factors that are also explained in the agenda part. If it's a question of okay. trade backsliding, that it's just like, is it very clear your impact scenario is just food and uh, no, not it's disease kind of, causing extinction? No, that's kind of strong. And yet the actual data card talks about authoritarian backsliding. Food conflict is just a question of how countries interact. That is just like an example given okay. of how conflict would exacerbate. Uh, we said like obviously conflict over food like, isn't a good thing and like okay, it what just other what other conflict is there? Uh sure. We say authoritarian backsliding in the actual card, uh also extremism, uh, that's like two lines up from the bottom and we give examples such as ISIS and Boko Haram if countries aren't working together to kind of act against like these global threats, then we say okay, that they those all happen change. from instability stemming from food security, right? Um no, food security is just another example that is used in the card. We say that it's a question of how countries interact. Food insecurity is an example given in the card, but the actual warrant in the card is not just we can't grow enough food. Okay. Sorry. Is it is it is it going to be con like a, 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 something I should fill like on two sheets like framer? Uh, yeah, fill it on two. Okay, it's like it's an impact right now. Okay. So fill that separately. The off case argument? No, the case arguments are impact frame. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm 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 just going to do framework offense then the app advantage right that the way you want me to do it. Uh, 
Uh, Never mind. Frame. Cool. Uh, it's Thank you. 
you're trying to drive here, you're trying to have one of those things, you know, we're always the best, even if you're something trying to back to the market, even extraordinary how many you know, how much impact we're using, so we're 40% of the time, so that's when you're doing our limited pop music, you know, so we're doing these really cheap and good figures, and motivations for sure, you know, I can only gain it, don't make only one factor among the real, among the, and many, and really most of you, and yeah, it applies to Kenya as well, no way Kenya has the ability to start any war with their interstate countries, and there's no reason why they would start war, because they wouldn't cause any economic gain, and it would just be for security purposes, which means it doesn't make sense, cheap talks all this part in 18 when the economy is too good, because all of us are slightly better, according to the probably because they're more than this is true, yeah, I know, but you're going to be treated, they can probably be treated between murder, reform, and copying, right, because they talk to us often, cheap talk is, cheap talk is not very good, they're very good, but when you're looking for critical aspects, it may not be your eyes, this gas proved that stress during 14, and now, and all this, but it's very sad, he'll try to really copy the strategies that are going to work, and it's called this, but seeing as it's going to the balance of the climate, and you're going to copy nationalism, or exclusion, there are all the rest of their arguments, that's honestly, I mean, it doesn't make sense, because they said that it caused new things, they do the work, I mean, they war in the past for third world countries, but none of those went nuclear tradition. There's no reason why they would draw in countries, but rather it would still cause our tradition impact because of the mindset shift. Anyways, no trade conflict had a larger downturn between lobbying for protection and the two costly as far as counter lobbying does. Bell, 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 and Rosa, in a human crisis, have come back into industry no longer. How gorgeous here, protection, they must be when others are seeking terrorism, crisis, or this is lobbying research, run dry counter lobbying with demand, free liberalization. We invest using modeling and industry, and look, people have been attached to our own support, counter lobbying activity, have significant offsetting effect on production. Production growth is unsustainable, innovation doesn't solve shifting, but production is key and Project 17, GDP and GDP, but that now provides an interest in the majority of the district because it's a threatening cause your country's energy return from decreasing its time in our regular threats. Yes, it throws further threat in the ecosystem. Okay, see, there's nothing in the counter versus can. That factor relative to actually being there's no ever traps due to the rebounds. The counter change destroys the world's vector in 19 model. A failure of comprehending legal professors, the government's ignoring scientists are cheap energy, and they lose 35% of the land for the U.S. model, they should have to be trust. Plus, while further orders on one third return, and other ecosystems are destroying the factor in one billion in refugees, streaming coastline, shopping food, water trust, nations do the world like the end of civilization. Transition is possible. Corona produces a unique momentum. The Schiller and Rankinson point of can happen. So, the decision to use this current pandemic rather chance for more generation crises. Chance for change or protest spending interest in unthinkable mobilization requests. The aftermath of forming around global production change will depend on current initiatives. Growth more AI called the CQ. You go solve this. Play below 18 severe intelligence mechanisms of economic content for intelligence aligned with the capitalist markets that have very undesirable consequences. The deal of receiving a very good big reading of super intelligence. How many governments of technical resolution of foreign growth relies on earnings, economic selection, fewer, for no major greater technical machines overcome by advanced technology? These will deliver from capitalistic goals that outweigh searching Durga Burger 18, the probability and seriousness of the failure to increase that. They add on very little. Well, we were having to be good and they just involve the rest. We will be multiple between imagine how much comical invention is extinction. That's Kirk 17, the chemical plus. What do we like in America with adaptations and hardware that is paid by money to buy down and grow the regulation as well? Do curtail the flood and will not protect our systems? The industry, the chemical industry is looking at relocating and making return to citizens. You have big food, wildlife, direct products, and people as well. So we're featured to talk about those themselves' opinions. Example, plan for the human future, our mind intelligence system, reducing intelligence, earning many less available, uh, 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 capable of solving problems, working ecosystem, human, on which humanity depends, augmenting the arsenal of WMD and reversing their use to talk. Yeah, here's the, here's the story why we don't double turn ourselves. We've made the claim, we made a claim that uh, the Kenyan economy. It would still cause recession in the world context, but that that would not lead to any nuclear war. That's our argument. Um, that's the whole point of the link to DF, the, the Z stuff. Um, yeah, their snares are just way too underdeveloped. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you mark off or anything? Uh, yeah, I should mark off. Have we, like, have we, like, diverted super intelligent AI in Joshua? No, but we're close. Okay. 
Uh, let's talk about uh, the transition being possible. Uh, I guess, why is it so that all countries have a transition? Yeah, sure. So you made a claim about how Kenya would cause a global economic decline because of the massive amount of investments that people have, which means that whenever that decline happens, uh, the youth has seen, or the youth population is more shifting towards a mindset that the pandemic can provide a transformation. We need a new response, which would lead to mobilization of Okay, sure. Uh, I guess why do youth get mobilized? Like, what's the warrant behind that? What? Why do the youth, like, just get mobilized? What's, like, the warrant? Yeah, that would be pandemic pressures. They create unique momentum because the youth think that something has to happen and that answer is the adult. Okay, sure. Uh, I guess let's talk about, uh, yeah, I guess I'm so confused as to why it's, like, not adult friends that Kenya is enough, like, cause Okay, a like, uh, that was a no link argument, I think, that was preempting. The argument is that Kenya, you made the argument that Kenya would cause a global recession. Yes. Our argument is that Kenya would cause a global recession, and that would not like do the war stuff, right? And then that still causes transition because it's a global recession, but that does not cause war. It's like just basic data, but you don't get a no link because you read in cross that Kenya would cause a global recession. Okay, what's the war behind Kenya not causing war? Yeah, there's multiple wars. So, uh, like, which one do you want me to go? Uh, Okay, downturn will cause war. The wall evidence is great on the fact that first countries have no incentive right now to go to war, even like the most, uh, like the why best. Why is specific to Kenya? Yeah, we made that analysis below. There's no way that Kenya would have the motivation for security, like sort of like WMDs in order to cause or spark a massive interstate conflict there. So it doesn't make sense. Yeah, oh, what's Chief Talk? Yeah, Chief Talk is just like whenever big countries are just like, or like any country in general basically is like, Oh, we use rhetoric to uh, just like say we're not going to fire or something like that. Okay. It's just saying that talking to each other, but like capping about your military capability. So I could have like. Uh, there wasn't like a whole lot of economic stability from like 2007 to like 2012, etc. Uh, I guess why is the drug war hard for anything? Yeah, sure. So the argument is that from 2012 and 20 2007, between that time period, a huge recession happened, right? So it analyzes before that recession the amount of interstate violence, and then after that recession, how much interstate violence is there? The, the answer is no. Okay, that was nice.
Yeah, absolutely. Okay. to the disease defense for what? Uh, sure. First was guess extinction because it's not contextualized with status quo mutations. Uh, the current study for the report specifically uh, about coming on the digits. Uh, second, the other time the report has been a uh, Third, no, no, like it's interconnected. The report is specific to any of the cards that were not okay. because they're U.S. oriented. And then fourth was containment doesn't do anything because uh, people will like uh, still break the quarantine, et cetera, like containment measures, like there needs to like act like policy change, uh, plus stop the drive still doesn't happen. Very cool. Um, 
RBI on the Waltz, like COVID good stuff, independent voting issue, um, disease, uh, if you, yeah, disease, then you get. Wait, sorry, I, I, I like zoned out. Like, I, I yeah, okay. RBI, that, sorry. RBIs, <laughs> okay. the independent voter. Um, wait, wait, okay, okay. All right, so RBI, the IBI, what else? Uh, disease stuff, DDO. So defense and then the one is the case. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, cool. I run good. Yeah, yeah. just sign post for the RBI. Yeah, yeah. RBI is top level. They concede the logical outweighs. You don't want to prove you to bring me for your logical outweighs. You're to divide with any other voter. All their arguments in the millennial are extremely good. If they didn't lie on any of our no RBI standards, it should be sufficient to answer this page. I'll answer their arguments anyways. Their fairness arguments. Don't let them get any new to or because I would just lose every single time because I'm predicated off the one error set. What the one error set on our logical standard. If they conceded flat one and C way, which that doesn't make sense, they give them new two in our way. The skew stuff doesn't make sense. Uh, the, 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 the skew stuff literally does not make sense. It does not have a word. You can just read one error theory anyways. Which we gave you that option. Independently, it splits the one error. Doesn't make sense. Uh, doesn't, it doesn't make sense either because it was just split the two in our in return, which does, which would just skew the round even further independently. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The, the RBI stuff. You just conceded logic outweighs, so it doesn't matter. And I'll just the RBI incentivize Vicky here for everyone who's using these practices. Their arguments on RBI paper really flippy. Don't vote on it. Um, case. The fake news voting issue was not a drop debater issue. They have not made a single reason as to why it's drop debater. They just said too many people died in a pandemic. I will concede that Walt is wrong because that was not your impact scenario, and it is just read as defense to their impact scenario. I'll concede this is wrong. There's no reason why your paradigm should like intervene on you voting on a fake news voting issue that legit has zero warrant. We don't, we're not gonna take obviously what Walt says outside of the round. There's no word for that claim. It's just at worst, drop the argument and I'll concede to drop the argument. Um, the uh, disease defense. Framing is showing disease defense is that Lily has gone for the worst impact they possibly could have. The Ord evidence is the best issue on this topic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend here. First is that death rate as high as 50% didn't collapse to civilization. Their argument just assumes that mutations will completely collapse to civilization, and then that sort of ensuing civilization, that sort of ensuing collapse causes disease to spread more. But they can see that empirical precedent, like the bubonic plague, which puts that risk at 0.01%. That was our argument. The fact the fossil fuel record cap also puts that cap for mutations at 0.1% a century, which means that their probability is very low independently. When they've conceded all the impacts on the Earth, that should be sufficient to definitely outweigh. Third is that health, sanitation, medicines, science, public health bodies all intervene and solve it the first days. They've read no evidence of this specifically. They just said, quote, their evidence doesn't count for mutations, but obviously it does. And public health actors, etc., are all made for COVID mutations in new strains, which is empirically proven by the status quo, trying to lock down, uh, secure lockdown on more COVID waves and more containment measures. Fourth is that village, uh, viruses can survive in all locations. Their argument just simply does not make sense for why mutations would somehow be airborne and spread to bunkers. That legit doesn't make sense because conceded that, that places like Antarctic researchers, uncontacted tribes, isolated island populations, and submarine clues legit do not have an environment where diseases can survive it, even their mutations. They've read zero mutations evidence that it would be widespread enough or airborne enough to survive in massive uh, uh, in, in these locations that have empirically proven to not be able to survive for disease. That was that should be the empirical precedent that there's literally 0.01% to risk of their arguments in the past, and also that they cannot survive in these places, which means that any risk of our extinction impact should be sufficient to outweigh the lab life proper app is specifically the Kenya. Group these arguments. All can see that Kenya has a global economic recession, which means that you get access to all of your oh, full rate of Kenya go, going global arguments, but their argument is just that either 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 there's no spillable arguments or you get full strength of link into your impacts. All can see they get full strength of link into their impacts, which means that any risk that we win that their full impact doesn't matter. It shouldn't be sufficient. Containment doesn't do anything. Legit has no warrant, and you can see that that wouldn't matter because un obviously uncontacted tribes and submarine workers cannot go out of their submarines immediately out of the bottom of the sea, which means that they would still prevent extinction. Even if containment doesn't solve, that's not the argument we're going for. So it doesn't make sense. The world break quarantine stuff and turns climate change, etc. stuff doesn't make sense in the context of DDEV. And so far as we're winning another impact scenario that would just answer this argument independently. The, uh, the, the yeah, their, their answers to our argument is like absolutely garbage. They didn't answer five warrants. Should be sufficient. Uh, DDEV page. Top level on DDEV, they've conceded growth is unsustainable, which answers every single one of their impacts. The budget and cost evidence indicates that it's a very great word for why growth is unsustainable, but insofar as things like the cosmic curve do not account for the Jevons paradox, where there is massive amounts of rebound effect that makes growth completely unsustainable because it would just lead to, quote, relative decoupling, which would cause more resource use. That makes growth currently unsustainable. Even if you don't know what all this jargon means, they flat conceded that growth cannot sustain itself because they have conceded that resources, one, run out, and two, they are consumed too fast, even in the world of, in the world of advanced technologies, because COVID 
communities who just want to consume more and more resources, which means that all their degrowth cells or degrowth cells extinction stuff doesn't make sense in the long term because they have conceded that that does not matter in that context because growth is unsustainable. So all their arguments is why degrowth solves something doesn't make sense because growth is just going to go away anyway. Second argument is that they flat conceded the Walt evidence. I'll read it's a diversion you work hard. They've just well, actually no no no. I'll, I'll just accept the counterforcing stuff here. Counterforcing ensures only a few million dies. In the event of things like a nuclear first strike, people just counterforce which is the nuclear arsenal is completely obsolete. That answers your pose and argument because they wouldn't go nuclear or cause extinction independently because they've conceded a nuclear impact defense. But also this card is just legit US hedge rent score, which obviously doesn't answer the rest of our arguments. The transition page proper, the transition page argument was completely conceded other than that transition word argument, which they conceded impact defense to insofar as nuclear war does not cause extinction because they conceded counterforcing. That means that all other nuclear war and transition impacts don't matter at all because they don't cause extinction, which means that only we have the zero of causing extinction. I'll extend the extinction zero growth oriented and uh, I'll extend the extinction zero. The one is chemical emissions. The crib evidence is great on the fact that chemical emissions would flood back into our immune system and harm human intelligence with threats our ability to respond to future conversion crises is like climate change that was a conceded argument also proves sustainability debate is game over because humans have declining intelligence due to chemical emissions which prevents our ability to stop things like their arguments the second argument i'll go for is growth uh the second argument i'll go for is climate change that was the exception of the bunch of evidence where green tech cannot solve for any of that because green tech still uses some amount of resources that would cause things like rem mining etc that would obviously cause an increase in climate change disease answers bunkers they don't spread the bunkers that was all of our analysis on or there's no way they can disease cell exploration that causes the extinction growth cells work all that stuff doesn't make sense if growth is unsustainable they've conceded growth is unsustainable the time frame impact extinction their only impact is legit diseases which takes millions of years to spread at worst millions of years to adapt to mutated environments where they have proven not to be able to adapt to which either doesn't make sense all their one-air analysis on this page was extraordinarily blippy you should just per you should just look at the two in our cards they flat conceded which means that there's no impact in any of their arguments On the data page proper, is there like a specific place you're going to start? Um, yes, it'll be like uh, exploration warrants and then kind of just like top down. Okay. Uh, is anybody not ready? Okay. Um. This round works out extremely simply. It conceded epistemic uncertainty when that was coming out of the 1A. That's the frame that we've been using for the entirety of the round. The cover card tells you there's a 1% risk that extinction should automatically vote there. We have read enough off that's coming out of the two, coming out of the one ear on the two end page that you should feel very heavily skeptical of voting on Tia. They've only read three and they've only read three impact defense cards coming off of COVID. They're not even well explained coming out of the two. And if you don't think there's a robust explanation of what any would uh, what any of these look like, rather there's like really looking live out in response to what the affirmative said in the one ear coming out of the two and they should feel heavily skeptical voting on any impact defense that there the affirmative is the only person who has a potential 100 percent risk of extinction. Look, even though they've read like a couple of defense cards, that's all they have on the affirmative impact. They've also conceded one ear way. That was time frame magnitude, that was time frame magnitude and the fact that people will still live in both However, people have disease like COVID and we don't have it then it's undetected yet because uh, we, we've already we've already seen things like false positive, they go to a bunker, etc. Then they're, they're going to just continue to spread. COVID is the only disease that uh, like COVID, COVID is the only impact that that isn't solved by like a couple of people who like uh, somehow end up surviving because there's no way to treat COVID in the first place. They could see the one, they could also get the one area, they've also can see the one area wing that's supposed to going to outweigh on time. But regardless, that's so far they they're literally only impact for climate change and AI extinction, which we both preempted in the one area, they're not going to be this or they're not going to be happening anytime soon. All the risk that COVID happens and not automatically outweighs coming out of the affirmative. Also, secondly, uh, also secondly, uh, the, the, the also, secondly, look, they're actually reading the cards, they're, they're reading the cards they're having, they didn't even answer the line by line words coming out of the one ear. So they're not contextualized to COVID. The argument coming out of the affirmative is that if COVID continues to mutate in Kenya, it's going to have those mutations. All of the cards are contextualized to the United States being able to check it back with medicine. If we can't check back Kenya's got Kenya with medicine, it's going to lead to mutation because if you don't check diseases with medicine, then, then they mutate. Anyways, all of these arguments are specifically contextualized to countries that have medicine. The argument coming out of the affirmative is that Kenya doesn't. Also, secondly, it's still an extinction impact. They haven't sufficiently responded to the mutation words to the org is game over, but no, the actual org card is only talking about what the actual org card is. The actual org card literally, does, literally just says that it's not the right to many, but this is written in 2020. It wasn't even contextualized the, uh, to the to mutation, the, to the mutation of COVID in the first place. Also, secondly, it's just talking, it's just a very general card, which doesn't actually do anything in the first 
place. Look, this program is very exciting. Truly simple. You should just like view it. They're like, uh, you should just view the like brown people lens of epistemic uncertainty, which was already brought up. That's the framing that we're operating under. We've read enough offense coming on the DDF page that it does not matter. They've read like three cards that are not contextualized Kenya. There's no more in the two and why they're contextualized in Kenya because mutations in Kenya happen specifically to cause extinction. Let's go to the DDF page. First, there's a double line argument here. We're going to go for the exploration wars. There's literally a bro- uh, was, they were lacking a robust response to either of the, uh, to either of the COVID cards. And 19 tells you that uh, you guys thought to explore it. And you guys thought to no longer be able to animate in order to go to space in the first place. And then COVID 19 cards are going to go to because they need to be able to explore and they need to be able to explore in order to, in order to go to space and stop the inevitable impact of humanity. Look, if there's no exploration in the future, then we all die from the impacts that they talk about. It turns the game over because it would literally, because it would literally solve for their impacts. Also, exactly, they don't even get to the wars that we're going for. This turns and outweighs the case because at, wor- or, uh, at worst, it's, uh, at worst it, is, uh, it, it is game over often for the negative case because we have, because, of, because it's an independent reason that they, that they have not even functionally responded to as to why DW is bad. Also, secondly, as a, also, secondly, as a whole, they're still conceded one error. Uh, one error weighing on this page. Even if they're getting full strength of length in the DW, they have not proven to you why AI extinction is going to happen any time. That was crossed. Secondly, they haven't even explained to you when climate change happened in the first place. All of this weighing was done on the one error. It was cold conceded. It's a really easy foul because they only read defense on the business. Could be. Could be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you send out a marked doc of the one error cards by any chance? Yes, I. Okay, yeah. Can you can you send the card doc? Okay. Yeah, it'll be a couple minutes. 